Hi! What the freak was that? Hi! Happy Tuesday! My name is Emma Jean. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I have another video for you. Woo! Because I am on spring break and this will be a video about tips of clinic. I wish these were tips that were told to me and elaborated on before I started. Yes, of course, I was given advice and given tips about clinic, but I feel like these are the tips that more resonated with me. So I hope you enjoy them. So let's get on with the first one. First tip, do not be hard on yourself. Yes, oh my gosh, no brainer, I get it. Easier said than done, but I say this because when you start, you are new, right? And at least for our time in clinic, our first time that we did it, we had it as orientation. So we didn't have to get any comps or anything like that, which was, I think, such a great idea. It is, I think, way too overwhelming to even try and think about getting a comp. With orientation, it literally is what it means. You go there as if you're having a job and you have orientation for my first quarter. You walk around the CI, I think some people, schools call it CP but they will walk around with you the entire hospital or the outpatient area will tell you, oh, this is this section, here is the x-ray department, here is the ER, here's OR. Even that was so overwhelming because like I said before in my other video, I feel like our hospital is on the smaller side, but even though it is smaller, uh, I still got lost. I feel like I still didn't know where I was going and our hospital is in the shape of like a horseshoe. You kind of can go in a circle and kind of cut in certain ways. And when I would try and follow a tech or my CI of places where to go to, I would keep walking and they would look at me and be like, hey, it's right here. And I would just be so confused. Again, just don't be hard on yourself. Know that this is all a learning experience and that you are going to take it day by day and it is going to be overwhelming at first that is something that i feel like no one is not ever going to go through you are going to be overwhelmed you are going to be scared you are going to feel like you have no idea what is going on or what you were even doing and that is completely okay so kind of just accept that and embrace it and let time go and every day go as a day all right on to the second tip is ask as many questions as you can i know that when you start and you are so nervous and it's so overwhelming you literally just don't want to talk you want to absorb everything that you're seeing everything that you're learning about but yes ask as many questions as you like i know all teachers say this no question is a dumb question seriously because when you ask a question I feel like some techs don't realize, wow, that's something that I didn't really think about of teaching a student because they already know all this information. They're done with school, they've been graduated for years, they've been working for years, and sometimes they come across some questions that they probably wouldn't have thought of unless a student asked. So please just ask as many questions. I know for me, my type of personality, I really don't care. I don't have any judgment towards me wanting to ask questions, but that's not the same for everyone. I know some people are more reserved and would rather learn on their own rather to, than to ask those questions. So I really encourage that because it is a learning space, it is a learning environment. Just do it, do it, who cares, you're a student and you'll always, I feel like an answer and if they can't find an answer for you, they will definitely find that out and it's good for them to learn as well. Third tip is to have a visualization of your work. And I know every school is different. So for me at my school, I do have a comp worksheet. It kind of looks like columns and it labels every body part that we need to get comped on. I feel like as if it goes in order that we learned it in school. We started off with the chest, then we went to lower or um, upper extremity, like the hand, the shoulder, finger, the elbow, the forearm. Then it goes to the lower extremities, like the foot, the knee, tip, fib, femur. I Again, I don't know how it is for you. I don't know how you guys do comps, but I feel like as we're progressing into this world that we are going more electronically, which I think is a good and bad thing. Okay, so you can definitely look online on the computer, on your phone for your work progress of your comps. 
but I highly can encourage that you print it out. I was required from my program to print it out because what we do to turn in our comps is we mark off what we did, we write down the quarter that it was done, and then we add it together to calculate or put together the total of how many you did in that quarter so that we can keep track of every quarter and make sure that we are on track throughout the year. I am really interested on how you guys are doing your comps. Let me know if you guys are doing